Welcome back everyone, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our let's play of Operantia the Stolen Sun. Where we left off last time, we are about to go and either go to Hatter's place or open a door. I am deeply curious to see if we're allowed to, if not, we're just gonna go straight up towards the palace and uh, meet our first god of the game. Anything in here? No? Oh, a chest. With the amulet of Gonkal and some chainmail and some gold. Cool. Oh, well, we got a secret. Out of oh, that was the secret that was on the other side of that wall. I see. Cool. I guess now we go to Hatter's door. Realistically, we should have just done that at the end of the last video, but oh well. We didn't know. Could have been a secret boss for all I knew. I'll quickly resave over here, we might as well. And... Off we go. Up here, and there's the giant flaming fortress above. Sure, why not? The door, not what to on the other side. Okay. We were greeted by darkness and silence. Maybe For I... a full minute, they moved forward with only enough light to see a few steps ahead. Until suddenly, they found themselves in the presence of Hadur seated upon his throne, with an appropriately godly presence. Fiery light filled the room in an instant. If this was some sort of intimidation tactic by the Firesmith King, it was working. You have arrived. Hodur's words were stern, yet strangely inviting. Not quite welcoming, but inviting. We have, Lord Hador. A lifelong mission brings me to you, whilst those with me seek an audience with you for other important reasons. Your reasons are the same, whether you know it or not. You, Sebastian, seek to fulfill a personal prophecy involving the finest blade I ever crafted. Everyone else, you aim to find my brother. Your world will die without him. Yet you stand no chance against the dragon who has enslaved Nokirai without the very sword Sebastian so desperately pursues. Our paths are linked. They are. But to face the dragon's flame in the underworld, you must be prepared. Prepared? You mean, with the sword we seek? And did you say the underworld? You will need the sword, yes. And the armor I have yet to craft for you. Well, okay. Let's do that then. The dragon holds my brother in the underworld, and he has no reason to leave the realm that fuels his powers. You have no choice but to confront him there. But how? We have no means to enter that dreadful place. You will, but first return to the Copper Forest. To the west you will find the axe of the Iron Meter. Only with this mystical tool will you be capable of retrieving a limb from the Three Branch Tree, from which your new armor will be forged. Upon your return you will know everything I have to tell you. Now, take the west exit. Do not keep me waiting. Alrighty, deep into the copper forest. Sorry, I just had to close my window there. There was very loud cars traveling through. 
Who has got an achievement called Keymaster? I hear more copper things. Oh no, not another lightning blasty thing. All right, well, let's uh let's continue on. Although it is showing us some beautiful landscapes Back currently. In this dreadful forest. At least we won't have to worry about weapon-wielding woodcutters anymore. He surely killed them off. Right? Maybe. But you did predict some death traps earlier that we never really saw. Hear that churning? I think we're about to. Oh, fun. Ah, oh, yes. A death trap. An unwelcome visitor taunted them from the other end. I see you made it to the top of the tree. So did I. Boldijar. Even if you do make it past this, more traps await you. Not to mention woodcutters, now under my control. More driven than ever to kill you. Good luck. He Thanks a lot, jerk. They could no longer see you. Nobody likes you, do they, Keller? He. Will. Pay. I don't know exactly where the... Okay, that one's fine now. We're gonna wait for this one to pass and then continue on, I guess. This is getting worryingly close. That was just fine. And we found a chest. Hatter's boots and some gold. I don't think we should go down when the blades- or go in there when the blade's coming through, but... We'll go through as soon as this one passes. Oh, bad. We should go now. Betrayed us? Why do his woodcutters still assault us? Boldijar's evil magic has infected them. We just went over they that. Will attack more ferociously than ever now. Technically, his magic isn't evil. He feels he is doing this for the greater good. He aims to annihilate the only group that can save Operencia from eternal darkness. How is that not evil? The Garbon Tiash order can be very strange. The irony of that statement is completely lost on you. These things hit extraordinarily hard. Their wavy sword attacks do a lot of damage. Screw it. That's the one we're doing. Maybe regen's a good idea right now. And maybe taunt. Our main character is just taking the beating of his life, so... And he has like double the hit points of my other character. There we go. That actually wasn't too bad, they didn't drain any of our energy. Which is kind of nice. He wasn't bluffing about those other traps. Lots of secret treasures in these little alcoves.
I mean, you just have to wait. It's not that bad. Another one. Ambush again. Alright, so we got the ambush off this time, right? We should probably... Use Blizzard first. Maybe we can get some stuns. Or nothing will happen. Okay. Taunt. It doesn't seem to matter. When they do their flaily thing, it hits everyone, no matter who's taunting. It's an AoE attack. And there's five of them. He might die. In fact, he is guaranteed to die. Or not. Just barely lived. Alright, let's uh, heal him up. Get the regen going. We should be fine. These guys are kind of brutal. There are definitely worse enemies out there, though. That's a lot of fire damage. Uh, DOTs. Um, that one. You could use a resurrection spell now. That one should die. That one should die. He has like 19 de Oh, he's gonna die. There's no way he's living through that. Oh, maybe. We can end this fight. That'll be fine. All we can heal him up. Death. Damn. The Lorca Segmentata, which is Roman armor, basically. Um, strength and agility, too. Pretty good. get to be electrocuted again. Yeah, let's not do that just yet. Staff of Frozen Fire, Book of Ice, and some gold. Any more treasures? Yes. Please don't be in the middle of the lightning storm. Okay. That's a oh god, we're gonna get lightninged. It's here somewhere. Header Selm. We're getting this whole header set. Let's check it out. Because I think it might be good for one of our characters. Probably Messi? He's our tank, so let's see what we can do with him. Um, not that one. No. Nope. Yes. Yes. So we've gotten three pieces of this Hatter set so far. Do we have a better shield that we can use? His spiked steel shield is pretty damn good. It's hard to beat that. Alright, let's go up to him first. One second here. We found something. A new book. Book of Ice. Energy 10%, so it's worse than what we're currently using. The Staff of Frozen Fire is also slightly worse than what we're using, but... It is also slightly better in that it deals cold damage. And in this place, cold damage is way better than poison damage. Alright, let's just roll. We have to go back, though. Um, yeah, we need to fill in the blanks. Oh, okay, you cannot step into the lightning. Run! Where's the nearest fire? Stepping into the lighting was a terrible idea. I thought once it had passed, you know, no big deal. We found the tree. Now we just need that magical axe. As much as I respect Hador, his instructions on acquiring that mystical item were rather vague. Yes, I agree. And he didn't even mention the boots. Boots? We have yet to hear mention of boots. While you were talking, Gunsel sent a message from the heavens. That's my old master. Not even death can stop him from helping those in need. The same old master you and Chilla both claim chose to leave this life behind in favor of becoming a constellation? Not just himself. Himself and his cart. Oh. Of course. 
My apologies. Do continue, Chilla. If we continue down this path, we'll find the axe. But not before we earn the boots we'll need to get there. Well then, what are we waiting for? Well, we did find a fire pit. We so may let's... stand a better chance against Boldizar if we better understand his order. What could you tell us about the Garabontias, Campo? Unlike a Taltush, a Garabontias is not born with his talents. Anyone can become one with enough skill and study. That almost sounds admirable. Traditionally, 13 students partook in 13 schools of learning. By the end of it all, they would sit beside one another on a wheel above a deep pit. The wheel was spun, and upon stopping, one unfortunate student would fall to his doom, the rest inheriting great power. Naturally, how else would you do it? As Campo said, there's the traditional story of the Garabon Siash. But I sense nothing traditional behind Spall Jar's rise. I fear you are right. He is unlike any Garabontias I have ever come across. And how many would that be? Well, none. But still, he seems off. On such matters, I do trust your authority. Okay. We have 17 firewood. It's a good time to rest, I think. Charge, we can ambush him. Yes. Oh, that's a lot of dudes. Okay. Well, we'll hit that one. Then we'll definitely do our group stun. Oh, that worked really well this time. Finally, we got a good stun. Since we have the sun, let's capitalize upon it. Oh, I was hoping that would jump more than zero times. Okay, they're getting back up. Half of them are back up. We got flamethrowed. I mean, why not? That's a 50 cost spell. How rude of me. One guy left. Just give him some energy back. Finish that one off and we are good. 666 gold, that seems a little evil, but okay. What exactly are those boots we're after designed to do? To get us past traps like this one. Then let's not try this right now. Yeah, okay. Hold up. Before we go any further... Oh, all chests have been found. Here, monsters that way. There are monsters this way as well. Ambushing. One stun, not as good. Let's get a regen going on our group. We've got a taunt going, even though the little flail thing does multiple damage. At least we'll uh, have our regen going so that we can just get some of those hit points back. And they can only do it once in a while it seems, so. Almost dead. He's back up. Dead. That was actually kinda cool. Um, you're fine on energy, so just hit. You can get some back. 
You're fine as well. Oh, I was hoping not for the flail. Oh well. Let's see into that. Oh, we're close to retool level. We're a little bit away. Now, what do I have to throw in here? Surely we have something else that actually fits here. The blue, the boots of Gone Call, and some gold. What are the boots of Gone Call, and who do they go on? Nah, not Mezzi. He's got the boots of Hatter, so her. Nope, they're intelligence boots, so they go on our main character. Really nice intelligence boots, actually. Do we have any other Gone Call set items? Yes, we have an amulet of Gone Call. Sold. What else we got? The hood. Let's put that on. We have three pieces now. And... Uh, nothing else so far. Maybe it's Gonsal, whatever. Oh, I ran into a dude. That's what I get for not watching where I'm going. That attack really hurts a lot. And we are down a character now. So let's bring everyone back to life. Because we kind of need it. We'll taunt. We'll heal. Oh, they resisted all of our stuns. Let's give him some freezing cold. We can always get some mana back. I was hoping he would die from that, but nope. Challenge. Not that bad. Prevailed. Kind of wish our character hadn't died in the very beginning, though. That was a bit bad. I hear more things walking. Alright, I'm going to find the boots. Just relax, game. Now we get to watch him die horribly again. Or Yosuka's gonna die this time. Gotta love that all happening before the first round of combat, really. Alright, so we're gonna Veil of Life. Taunt. Freezing cold, everyone. Cleave, everyone. We can heal up Yosuke afterwards. We need to survive the combat though. These two have fine mana. He needs some energy though. There we go. No big deal. Kinda sucked a little bit. We got another skull helmet. That leads downstairs to something. I'm assuming where the boots may exist.
This is apparently a secret. We're going fast because I want to get the ambush off. Alright, um... Let's do that. Not a single stun? That figures. They're gonna do the flaily thing though, so we might end up losing people again. There's nothing I can do about that. Except for stunning them, but that didn't work. We also should get our regen going, I guess. She uses such little energy. So much fire damage on him. Gotta heal a little bit. Let's make sure that one dies. dead. Those ones are dead. Anything worth stealing? Everyone leveled up. Perfect. That is actually working really well for us. Okay, so we have to move fast across those. Tower guard crossbow, apprentice's robe. Um... Okay. One done, I guess. There are two other stairwells we can go down. Don't look at me. I don't have that key. We need a chest key for that one. More experience. We'll do the last one, then we'll head upstairs, save, and call it a video. Okay, so these are on rotaties. Oh, we don't have the chest key either. Run! Ooh, this is close. Yep, that hurts. Okay. Let's go save. Where is the nearest? Oh, it's over there. Alright, we're going to call it here. Uh, we'll level up really quickly as soon as we hit the fire pit, and then we'll, uh, I guess, continue that puzzle room later. We need more chest keys, because we are completely out. Alright, oops. My bag offers new items as they are needed. It appears you are in need. What do you got? They got... You're on an adventure of a lifetime. Troll Cleaver. It's a two-handed axe, I guess. Okay, it's a one-handed really good weapon. We're gonna buy that. Now this is a really good weapon. Unfortunately, we have no one that can really use it, so I'm not gonna buy it right now. But we do have the ability to give the Warhammer to her for her offhand. I think it's better. All around, strength, crit, damage, or sorry, crit, strength, vigor, armor piercing, stun, yeah, it's hands down better. 
Let's go characters, let's level up everyone. So, uh, that's not leveling up, this is leveling up. We have more stats, which we desperately need. And we have some... Slightly more hit points and more energy, so he can cast lots of spells. And for you... Recurring physical damage for three turns and remove all buffs with an 86% chance? Sure, why not? Demoralize sounds pretty good. Um... Give him a straight up damage bonus. His strength is intensely high. 67. Not quite as good as her 83, but close. We have lots of passive skills, we should check these as well every once in a while. 20% resistance when you have an active minion, it's not bad. 5% lift after using an upper world skill, it's alright. Sun skills cost 15% less, 10% energy after using a basic skill. When you take elemental damage, you get elemental resistance. I really should get a minion out more often, they're pretty good. Hit chance when you taunt an enemy and remove fear effect? Shh, oops, that's not meant to do. Yeah, something like that. We need to give each of them a potion. Can each person only have one potion? I guess so. I want him to have the energy potion. No, the herbal tea is fine for him, I guess. That's fine. No. Stunning is pretty good. Let's grab the stun. Alright, anyways, what was I doing other than that? Oh, right, checking passive skills. Extra passive skill at level 12. 15% more elemental damage if your energy is under 30%. Oh! 10% of your energy costs are paid with HP in exchange for 15% increased damage. That's pretty good. Okay. I like that. Let's save. I know he dies lots, but we can give him more vitality. We can just redo things a little bit. For now, though, I'm gonna end it here. Oh, we didn't finish up. What's her name? We didn't give her a skill. Uh, she can have strength. Take care, guys, and I will see you all in the next video for some more traps and death, probably. Take care.